Today is the third and final installment of our series on what you should be looking for in your first job. And today we're going to be talking about culture fit. It's obviously something we've talked about a lot in the blog in the past, but today we want to give you a specific example to help show you what exactly that means. Yeah, it's always good to have a litmus test and, you know, culture is something that's really hard to define. Unless you're, you know, a Red Bull or a Threadless and it's obviously ingrained into every single thing you do, um, which, hence, companies, more companies should be doing that. Um, but, you know, if you're going into a more everyday company, you're going to have to look for the little things. So, it's, you know, the tone of the interviewer's voice. Are they really friendly? Are they outgoing? Or are they kind of more, like, late or, you know, kind of set in their ways and stern? Are they, you know, going to be wearing something that's a little more casual? They're wearing flip flops, jeans, whatever, or they wear a pencil skirt and heels or a business suit. You know, these little cues are going to give you a good sense of what the office is like on a day to day basis, and that's what you really need to pay attention to because it's going to help you make a decision about what type of company is the best fit for you. Right, so we hope you've enjoyed these tips. Again, going over them, it's the size of the company, whether big or small. It's location, both in terms of the city where you live and how close you live to the office and culture fit. Hopefully these tips will help you as you're looking for that first job.